Welcome back, eighth grade. All right, so now we're looking at some examples. So when we read number five, it says Morse code bracelets use beads to show a message. There are three different lengths of beads. A 0.3 centimeter bead is used for a dot, a 0.5 centimeter is used for a dash, and a 0.15 centimeter filler beads are used for any to fill any remaining space. So part A says write an equation that represents the beads used to make a bracelet that measures 17.5 centimeters long. So let's first just talk, like we need to make, like what does each thing mean? So I know that 0 0.03 is a dot, right? That's how long a dot is. Uh, point, or 0 0.5 is a dash. And that 0 0.15 are fillers. And so we need to come up with variables for those, right? Like what do we want to call a da dot, a dash, and a filler? And since dot and dash have the same first letter, we can't call them both D. So we just need to choose. Um, we could go with like A, B, C, right? And we could say that this is A, this is B, and this is C. You could do X, Y, Z. You could do like T, H, and F however you want to do it, right? We just got to define it. So our A is going to represent our dot, our B is going to represent our dash, and C is going to represent our filler. So to write our equation, we know that each dot is going to take a 0.3, and then that would be times my A, right? So 0.3A, and then I'm going to add with it my 0.5B plus my Point zero point one five C, and that's going to equal seventeen point five. So, that that's our equation. That's all it asks. Write an equation that represents the beads used to make a bracelet that measures seventeen point five centimeters long. Part B says Eric orders a bracelet with the message that uses thirty dots and ten dashes. The bracelet is seventeen point five centimeters long. What quantities are unknown in this situation? Well, we know dots and dashes. The only thing we don't know is filler. So the unknown is filler. We don't know how many filler beads were used. All right, and then part C, how many filler beads does Eric's bracelet have? Show your work. So this is us solving the equation. So we know A, right? So we have 0 0.3, A is gonna be 30, right? And then we have 0 0.5 dashes, that's gonna be the 11 dashes, so times 11, plus the 0 0.15, C, because we don't know filler, or whatever you called your filler, and then it has to equal 17.5 centimeters. So then we do the math. What is 0.3 times 30? <coughs> That's 9. What is 0.5 times 11? That is 5.5. And then this stays 0.15c equals 17.5. From here, we're going to combine 5.5 and 9. So that's going to give me 14.5 equals 17.5. I'm going to subtract the 14.5 over so we know how much is left just for my filler beads and how much length they take up. So 0.15. C is going to equal 17.5 minus 14.5 means they're going to take up 3 centimeters, right? Yeah, centimeters. And then I'm going to take that 3 centimeters and I'm going to divide by 0 0.15. And it's going to be a bigger number and it should be because we're trying to figure out how many 0 0.15s fit into 3. So 3 divided by 0 0.15 is 20. So there are 20 filler beads. 
And you can write that. There are 24 of these. All right. Last example question. Three students count the number of subway stations they stop at on their ride to school. They each ride different subway routes. Student A stops at twice as many stations as student B. Student C stops at five more stations than student A. All together, they stop at 20 stations. Write and solve an equation to find the number of subway stations that each student stops at. So, we have student A, student B, student C. So what do we know about student A? Well, student A stops at twice as many stations as student B. So student A is 2B. Because he's twice as many as student B. Student C stops as five more stations than student A. So C would be A plus five. And then total, we have 20 stations. We have nothing about how many stops B has. So that would be like our unknown. So we're gonna call that B. So I need to get it to where it's one variable, but I know A in terms of B. So we're gonna change student C from A plus five to two B plus five. So because we know that A stops as twice as many as student B. From here, I know each of them give me a total of 20. So that means student A would be its two B plus student B, plus student C, which is 2B plus 5, and that has to equal 20. So there's my equation. We wrote the equation. Now we have to solve it, so combine like terms. So that's 4, 5. 5B plus 5 equals 20. Subtract the 5 away. 5B equals 15. Divide by 5. B equals 3. So student B, and then, so it says, write and solve the equation to find the number of subway stations each student stops at. So B equals 3, right? So that means student B stops at 3. Student A is going to be, so A equals 2 times B, which is 3, right? So A stops at 6, and then we know that student C is A plus 5, so that's going to be 6 plus 5, which is 11. So student C stops at 11. Now, if I want to double check, well, then these have to. 3 plus 6 plus 11 has to add to 20. So this is 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry, we get 20. So it works. These are all correct. And then there's our equation and how many, how we solve. So there's all the different pieces of the problem. All right, we made it through everything. If you have questions, let me know, and I will see you later.